Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get ChatGPT to read the content of a website or a web page you provided to it in a ChatGPT prompt. So there used to be some workarounds using Chrome extensions and other third party applications to be able to use ChatGPT to read the content of a website. But now with the introduction of the web browsing feature, you can also do this inside ChatGPT. And if you want to get ChatGPT to read the content of a web page or any website, all you have to do is first you have to make sure that you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. If you are not, then you can click on Upgrade to Plus here on the left, on the bottom left here. I'm a subscriber, so I cannot see that button. Then if you are a, a Plus a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, you also have to make sure that you have enabled the web browsing feature. And you can check that by clicking on your account name here and selecting Settings selecting beta features and here's where you're going to be able to turn on web browsing so this needs to be turned on if you want to get a chat gpt to read the content of a website then all you have to do is click on new chat and then from the model selector select gpt4 and here select not the default and not plugins but browsing keep in mind that currently the plugins features and uh, browsing feature cannot be enabled at the same time. So this is a limitation you have to keep in mind. But once you have selected browsing here, all you have to do is basically using natural language, just add the URL of the website or the web page you want ChatGPT to read. So let's use an example. And the example website is my website, ryx.com, which is an online marketing website. And you can ask ChatGPT to open this URL and then basically it will be able to read the content of that website and then use that red content to do anything with that content. So you don't even have to explicitly say that you want ChatGPT to, to read that content. As I'm asking it to explain to me what is on this web page, it first has to read the content of that web page. Sometimes you have to be more explicit, but in this case it's not necessary. So all we have to do is click on generate. And if the web browsing feature is enabled, you're going to see a green cell here in a couple of seconds. So as you can see, browsing the web, it has clicked on the link. You can click on the down arrow so to see what it's doing currently. So it's thinking and it will read the content right now. And using that content it has read and put into um, memory, it will explain to us what is on that web page. As you can see, it has read the content, finished browsing, and now it's giving us the summary using the content it has read. So the web page you provided is the homepage of a site called RYHex. It's a platform that offers hundreds of free online marketing tutorials and resources. As you can see, if you provide multiple URLs, it will use citations to cite which resource or URL it has used to come up with that content. So it can be really useful in a couple of applications. But all in all, this is how to get ChatGPT to open up websites and read content on that website or web page. If you want to learn more about web browsing or the ChatGPT plugins or the best ChatGPT prompts you can use, check out my YouTube channels for a ton of free tutorials.